Alright everybody, we got a 4th gen hail team match coming up right here. This was this took place a little while ago before 6th gen even came out, and let's get started. I lead off with a bronze on because I went hoping to get up some stealth rock immediately. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. He sets up spikes, no big deal. I set up stealth rock, and I'm going to switch out to my Rotom, because in 4th gen, remember, Rotom is part ghost and electric. He's not whatever type of the move he has, just in case I can block some spin. Uh, looks like he's pretty content on going for more spikes, though, so this gives me a chance to trick a choice scarf to his fortress, which is going to make fortress not very effective on anything, just as a poke in general. Um, he goes for rapid spin because he forgets that in 4th gen, Rotom is what it is. Uh, so that's pretty nifty for me. It, it saves me uh, some hassle and gets me an extra turn really for free. Um, granted, I don't do a whole lot with the turn. I'm just kind of trying to get some damage. He switches in Bliss, no big deal, whatever. Um, and this is going to be my opportunity, I think, to get rid of his spikes. I don't really want any hazards there myself. So I'm going to get rid of these spikes now and go for Rapid Spin. And he sets up rocks with Bliss, which it's not an awful move, but it was just its awful in that particular case of I brought in my spinner as he's setting up rocks, and I get to kill two birds with one stone. It, poor guy. Like, that's just rough. So I get to get rid of him for free. He brings in a Starmie of his own. Um, at the moment, I was thinking I don't really want him to spin as well, so I'm going to go back to Rotom. The Fortress is obviously a spinner. I don't think he would carry two. Ow, that really freaking hurt. It's probably Specs, uh, which means he would have three moves in recover would be my assumption, but ow. So I'm going to go out to Obama, uh, Abominate over here, and uh, he, just, he, just, he laughs at water types, especially bulky waters. He just makes a joke out of them. He's great. So this will give me my opportunity to set up some Leech Seed, figure out what he wants to do, and just start the residual damage. Um, he goes into Fori, no big deal, I've got a Leech Seed incoming, and uh, I know that it's now Choice Scarfed as well, so I can just throw up a very easy Protect. He no longer has lefties, there's all sorts of great things going on with that turn right there. He's taking damage from this, he's taking damage from that, he's taking damage from something else, and I know that it's a free turn, see what he wants to do. He goes for a Toxic, so now it's obvious that I'm going to switch to Bronze on. He makes a good play in predicting that, instead of trying to stay in and Toxic in my Abominate. Um, this thing's named after Gubbs' cat, by the way. Uh, we miss you, Gubbs. We miss you. So, I go over to Bronzong to prevent the Toxic. Prevent thine Toxicify. And, uh, he predicts it, like I said, goes to Infernape. Um, I am perfectly content to stay in here, go for Earthquake, try and kill this Infernape. Infernape is kind of a big problem. Um, I am not Levitate, I am, in fact, Heatproof. Another reason I wanted to get rid of Spikes as soon as possible, so he doesn't get to see that. But he predicted me to switch and just tried to U-turn out, and then figures he's just gonna go to whatever he can. I stay in for Earthquake, get some damage on there, get some more damage on there, and, uh, once again, I just don't want him to spin. Um, and honestly, it really probably wouldn't be that much of a help. He's got Jump Luff on there, meh. Infernape on there, meh. He's gonna get residually damaged regardless, and he can't really take any hits, but... I guess it's just kind of nice, and that's really what the team's supposed to do. He ends up going for Pain Split to try and keep it around a little bit longer. Fortunately, I switched to something that doesn't have a whole lot of hit points either, um, so he didn't get too much benefit for it. I'm going to stay in for a turn, throw off an attack, um, maybe get some Freeze. Doesn't really matter. Blissey does not give a single Care Bear about this, and uh, I'm just going to get the heck out of Dodge at this point and try and figure out a way to start mounting some form of attack, because you can't really residual damage kill Blissey and Vaporeon, um, but hopefully I can get there with something. So I go to Obama Snow mostly just as a pivot. He'll bring in here, he'll waste a little bit of time, get a Leech Seed up on Blissey, because Leech Seed on Blissey is amazing. You get like 91 hit points back. It's stupid. Um, and he sets up Stealth Rock again, and it's, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It, it's mostly for Obama Snow and Dragonite. Um, so hopefully I can sacrifice, I mean, if I have to sacrifice Stormy to get rid of it eventually, that's fine, I will. Um, get the Leech Seed up on Infernape, so he's taking extra hail, extra Leech Seed, protect again for even more damage, and Infernape is now pretty close to essentially dead, and he hasn't done a damn thing, which is really freaking cool, and that's kind of the point of these sorts of teams, so whatever. Um, I'm also getting the feeling that he's Choice Bandit, I can't tell for sure... But it's certainly not Life Orb, and I don't think Adamant Scarf or even, like, Muscle Band would hurt that much. I, again, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty... That, that's where I'm going with it. Um, and so I felt safe going to Rotom regardless. Or Rotom, going to Bronzong against Infernape right there. Um, so I go to DiGiorno one last time. 
just in case he wanted to spin. And obviously, if he wanted to paint split as well, it's just the best case for both moves that he could possibly have picked right there. Um, maybe, maybe he should have went spikes, honestly. Maybe he should have just sacrificially tried to throw some spikes out. Not quite sure. Um, but I know at that point he's not going to stay in because he's not going to go for worthless moves when he's just going to die from hail that turn anyway. So he's going to switch out, at least save it for fodder. It was kind of risky. He could have spun that to or he was stuck. So all he could do is paint split. I guess he could have gotten some extra paint split on Sand Dollar, but I wouldn't have cared as much. Um, this will be my chance to spin these away one more time. And uh, hopefully that's the last time they stay there, or last time they get put on me throws a Toxic out, sucks, doesn't hurt Sand Dollar as much, it's more just that it sucks to know he has Toxic, I suppose, but they're gonna have some sort of static, one or the other, you know, um, I don't really want something getting T-Wave, so Toxic, I guess it's okay, uh, I go right back to Sprinkles, again, mostly as a pivot, put up Leech Seed, waste his time, um, and then make further progressions from there, so that's all I'm gonna do, I don't care too much about Toxic, obviously it sucks, but um, the more you use Snow, the more you realize that he tends to stay in for about three turns and then switches. It's usually not less unless you're just in an awful matchup, and it's rarely more than that. And if, again, if you can get Leech Seed up on Blissey, get 90 extra hit points back, plus your 6% lefties, uh, Toxic gets mitigated quite a little bit. So, I wasn't too afraid of it. Obviously, you'd rather not prefer it there, but it's there, whatever. Bleh. But when you miss double Leech Seed, that really sucks. Uh, so I go over to Bronzong, kind of just as fodder. Um, I get to threaten an explosion. I honestly don't remember if this Bronzong has it or not. Um, I want to say he does, but I don't go for it here, and this is the turn to go for it. Unless you predict Fortress to come in and I refuse to blow up on a Fortress. Uh, he opts for Vaporeon, however. I'm just throwing around EQs. Just kidding, I'm not throwing around EQs. I'm switching to Celebi. Hmm. So Bronzong vs. Bliss, and I switched to Celebi. Okay, well, I got that one wrong. No freaking idea why, but at least now it's pretty clear what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for some grass moves. He opts for Protect to see exactly what I'm gonna do. I throw a Grass Knot out there. It's not gonna hurt Vaporeon too much because it's based on weight, and Vaporeon's really light. Energy Ball is actually better on Vaporeon, but it, there's very few pokes that you want to use grass moves on that. Um, Energy Ball superior to Grass Knot with, or at least at the time 4th and 5th gen were around, so I don't know exactly how that works out nowadays, but who cares. Mega Drain's better now anyway, so shut up. Um, what's he doing? I paralyzed it just in case uh, Infernape wanted to come in. I guess even Jump Bluff, maybe? I'm not quite sure, but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna go for Grass Knot, get some damage on, see how much it wants to do, see what he wants to do. He's not, I'm not really threatened by it. Ice Beam isn't gonna do a KO, and I'm pretty sure I can heal it off anyway, don't really care. Um, but now that he's wished up, he's gonna go to either, well, Fortress is gonna be dead. Um, so he might want to bring it to Infernape, regardless of whether or not it goes to Infernape, I want a T-Wave, whatever the hell does come in. Happens to work out perfectly in this, war in this way. Now, Bronzong can deal with it, Starmie obviously could already deal with it. Uh, Dragonite can now deal with it for free. Um, even Obama Snow, well, eh, not necessarily. But uh, we get a nice little music change to the metamorphosis of the boss mode. Dragonite comes in and just video over. Dragonite decides that uh, if you mess with the bull, you're gonna get the horns and uh, you're gonna get skewered. You can't run away from the bulls, the bulls always win. He switches out, not wanting to get smashed in the face, and knowing his moveset of Toxic, Soft Boil, Stealth Rock, and S-Toss, there's not a whole lot he can really do, can't hit me with Ice. I get my plus one, this is an offensive Dragonite, uh, I'm 90% sure I can kill this Vaporeon from here with Earthquake, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shake the ground, and he's gonna get swallowed up by it, and he's gone. I hate Vaporeon, good luck, get out, get wrecked, get eaten up by the Earth, whatever. He brings in a Starmie. I know I'm faster than Starmie. I don't want to try and rely on Earthquake here, um, so I'm just going to go right for Outrage. I know Outrage is going to kill it. His Fortress is dead on arrival due to Stealth Rock. His Infernape, no. Uh, Jump Bluff, I, I don't really know how much it's going to threaten me, so he decides to bring it in here, and it makes a very quick appearance and a very quick exit. Jump Bluff is gone just like that. Um, I'm going to have a Lumberry to restore my confusion here, um, and as we've already determined, two of his pokes just have zero chance. 
he brings Blissey back in. For whatever reason, I'm not quite sure why, I switched out, and <sighs> the only thing I can think of is that sometimes when a, a match is essentially over, I'll switch around just to try a new poke or purposely try and win with a certain move or a certain setup. Almost like it's practice, like, hey, you know, let's see if I can't figure something out in this type of situation if I happen to run into that later with this team or something like that. But in this case, I don't know what that would have been, unless I wanted just to get one of my grass pokes a little bit of extra screen time. I don't know for sure, because um, obviously Dragonite just takes the game from there and I switched out. I mean, uh, I, I, again, I don't quite know. I wasn't trying to be a jerk, but it, looking at it now, it certainly kind of feels that way. Like, geez, why did I do that? Um, it's alright though, Dragonite will get a chance to rectify his mistake. I'm putting Leech Seed up here, I don't really know why, I don't really care why. Um, but I'm going to go right back to Dragonite in just a matter of moments, and he will uh, he will correct his minor mistake, and he will in fact finish off the rest of this match. So, thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this random little break, and uh, seeing something new, seeing something fun. I really like this Hail team, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, take it easy everybody, catch you later. Peace.